So today I'm going to open up some of my childhood memories, more like bombarding your my childhood memories. Some of them I never told anyone. So please be with me if it gets a little bit tedious, and I really I would really appreciate good reactions. So as many of you might already know, I was born in the States and lived there about six to seven years. And in second grade, at the end of second grade, I moved back to the States. And and of course, after a few weeks, my mom wanted me to enroll at an elementary school right away we arrived. Oops. Where did it go? Sorry, one second. It's moving on its own. Okay. Can we go back to There we go. Sorry about that. Again, we, my mom wanted me to enroll in an elementary school right away. It was a small school called Dorothy, uh, Goodman Elementary School. One day, we went on a tour to that elementary school. My mom was simply just talking to the principal, and I was staring out the window. Remember, I was just in third grade in a Korean school. I didn't understand English at all. All I understood from my English academy was my friends and I went to the park. Well. We went on tour, we continued it, and then suddenly my mom just turned around, stared at me, and she was like, let's get you started today. You don't need any supplies, just get straight to class. Good luck. And that's how I began my first day of school in America. Oops. It was middle of third period, I remember. It was Spanish class also. And remember, I don't know English, let alone Spanish. And then... But there was a similar girl near my age in that class. The Spanish teacher was talking to her and she was like, Hey, do you know any numbers? And she said, yes. Can you say hi in Spanish? And she said, hi, in English. That girl was me. <laughs> okay, I don't know any Spanish. I didn't understand anything she said. I was super embarrassed. I felt the heat coming up my cheeks and I thought that only ever happened in comic books. But luckily the teacher let it slide and then the next day I went to special English class 101 with my teacher only. The rest of third grade went pretty smoothly. I got into honor classes for math and science instead of having Spanish classes. And not to brag, I was the winner of the third grade science fair. <laughs> Thank you. I also made lots of friends. We had lunch together. We went to after school activities together. We also went to basketball games that was near our school. And then a couple of weeks later, it became a disaster at my school because he came. For those of you who don't know him, that's my brother. His name is John. He is four years younger. That was me when I was in t when I was ten years old. So he started kindergarten. He couldn't speak Korean either, let alone know English. And on the first day of his school, he didn't understand what his teacher was saying. He wanted to. He wanted to run to his mom, of course, which he couldn't. So he did the only thing every six-year-olds do. Cry in the middle of the hallway with the principal and my teacher and his teacher surrounding him in English and talking in Korean. So one day, it was during second period, PE. It was my favorite class because we had trestle trees, zip lines, and monkey bars. And I was going to go on a ride when the announcement called me. Could Solohan come to the principal's office? And so I went, and I thought I was in trouble. But when I got there, all I saw was my brother literally lying on the ground, and my teachers were trying to comfort him. And he couldn't understand anything, and he was like, Oh, no! <laughs> I was also 10 years old. I was really young. I didn't know how to handle my brother either. So I did try to comfort him. I really did. I was like, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? He didn't listen. So I did what every sibling would do when they cry. Simple slap on the back. It wasn't hard. It was just once. But it made it worse. He started crying harder afterward. I couldn't remember. I can't remember exactly what happened afterward. But I'm pretty sure it went worse. But he went back to his class with his teacher. And I skipped 
rest of my class by talking to the principal. My mom scolded me for that later on. And rest of my elementary school with my brother was actually pretty smooth. He adopted to his environment well, like I did. He actually got really fluent in English better than Korean. So we often spoke in English at home too. And we still do today. The rest of my third and fourth elementary school life was, again, absolutely amazing. I, absolutely, I love my new school environment in America and compared to my old elementary school. We had pizza every Friday. We had field trips to ocean towns. We had Easter egg hunts with actual money in those eggs. <laughs> and we made enormous water slides in the backfield. And we had fire trucks that sprayed water everywhere and played all day. And during the winter, we went to skating rinks. We had snow days. And we went up those mountains, actual back hills, when it snowed a lot, and we skied the whole day. No classes. On the weekends, I played, mostly hang out with my friends on the courtyard. We went to grab froyos. We went camping in the backfield, and there was a lake. We swam there often. It was pretty great. Until, we had, until I had to come back to Korea. That, was, that photo was taken eight hours before my flight back to back to Korea. I was pretty miserable. For three months straight before I came back to Korea, I was saying, can I just stay here? Can I live with my friends? Can I just stay at school for the whole day? And I have two diary entries I want to show you from my elementary school that I wrote. It's going to be grammatically wrong and chaotic, but bear with me. Uh, July 6, 2017, we sent stuff to Korea. My da dad came back. We do camps and stuff. It's only one week left until I leak. I am terrified. You have no idea how bad is school, lunch, and after school. Actually, it isn't even after school. It's a doom. Three days afterward, I am more terrifying than ever. Exact one week or six days left until the doom, aka Korea, hashtag doom Korea. Or Korea, hashtag Korea of doom. Anyway, Korea is terrifying. Scared, miserable, terrifying. I call it the doom school. AKA Korean school. I hate it there. Is it too much of a strong word? I don't care. I really, 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 and times 10, don't want to go back. That is what I wrote for 10 times straight. But I kind of get it now what I felt, but it was not that bad as I said, as I said it would be. That is practically what I wrote for the whole page. Doom, 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 doom. But I couldn't, and too bad, but I went back to Korea. And for the first few weeks, I didn't speak to my classmates or my teachers because I couldn't understand Korean. I couldn't speak Korean. I was speaking English for almost my whole elementary school life when I was just about learning the language. And then I switched, so I was alone most of the time. But I'm back here at an American curriculum school, so all that is and so. I have lots of friends, great friends over there, mostly. Uh, I'm really enjoying my clubs and my parties and whatnot. So why am I telling you all the stories? I know many of you are from either from another country or born from another country or are planning to go abroad for their studies. But let me tell you, the world is full of possibilities. I didn't know seven years ago that I will be at an American curriculum school or I would be at, I would be standing here making a speech in English at that too. But you never know what's going to happen. I wouldn't be here any of you, with any of you guys if I didn't go to America all those years back then. No, I would be here studying 24 seven with textbooks I don't even need writing down every single note the teacher says and running down to the snack shack to get that snack I can't even eat during class. <sighs> but any event, just like the tiniest event can change the entire, your entire life. 
if any of you watch Avengers, can you raise your hand? Avengers fans, anyone? If you watch the movie, you know that in that movie, she, I forgot the name, says one tiny event can change the entire course of, course of your life. I certainly know, didn't know that I was, going to be, I was going to love living in a foreign school, especially when I don't even know the language. But I almost spent 10 years in America, and I loved it. I absolutely loved every part of it, and I would go back if I had to do it again. But that's the point. We don't know the future. We can't know the future. We just have to live through it. And that's the fun part of your life. So you see, enjoy your life, live every moment of it. You don't know what's going to happen next in your future, but it might take a turn for the better. It might take a turn for the worse. We don't know. But I assure you, things will turn out in the, in the end. So enjoy your life. That's your lesson for today. Hope you like it.